So it's so good to be here with you in person and welcome to everyone joining us virtually. It's my privilege to kick off day two. As you know, as we've all talked about, the last two years have been a catalyst for innovation and technology adoption, enabling us to navigate extreme uncertainty while remaining connected. It is true that the seamless integration of technology into our lives is allowing us to do more than ever, but at the same time, it's creating an attack surface and attack vectors at a scale that we have never seen before. It's not just the threat of attacks, but the actual exploits that are increasing. Cybersecurity Ventures predicts that organizations will face a new ransomware attack every two seconds by 2031, up from 11 since seconds last year. And the proliferation and threats is just as relentless as the pace of innovation, which is why we design and engineer all of our products and services with security in mind, even doing our own ethical hacking of our own products. Security and protecting, uh, protection of our digital assets is an existential and growing concern requiring the industry's concerted attention. And today I will spend some time talking about three key topics. First, confidence computing and something we call trust as a service. Second, secure and responsible AI with security. Third, preparing today's digital environments in anticipation of the new quantum computing era. In our client portfolio today, we are leading the industry with Intel threat detection technology known as Intel TDT. Today, this technology helps identify malware and improves the efficacy of endpoint detection and responsiveness in solutions including ConnectWise, Fidelis Cybersecurity, and the popular Microsoft Defender for endpoint protection, among others. Confidential computing has emerged as a new form of computing that protects in use in memory by performing computation in a hardware-based trusted execution environment, also known as a TEE. Using Intel's software guard extensions, also known as SGX, is the proven trusted execution environment technology powering confidential computing today in private, public, and edge cloud environments. Today, I want to introduce an exciting effort that represents a major step forward in extending attestation services in the cloud, data center, and the edge computing environments to provide unprecedented security. It's called the Intel Software as a Service offering called Project Amber. Project Amber is a trust as a service solution that will provide organizations with independent verification and trustworthiness of customer assets no matter where they run. Over the last five years, Intel invested over $250 million in advancing open source software security. Intel invests and contributes significantly into the open source software projects guided by our commitment to an open ecosystem approach. A critical element in the ongoing development of confidential computing is an open source project initiated by Intel called Grameen. Grameen makes it easy, almost not quite push button easy, but very easy for developers to deploy confidential computing solutions using SGX's trusted hardware without significant application code modification. Gramming provides a push button method for easily protecting applications and data. This means a faster, more secure, and more scalable end-to-end -end security solution with minimal effort. At Intel, we believe in enabling society to make decisions about the responsible use of AI. We are working to provide the security technologies to enforce those decisions, the ethics associated with responsible use of AI, also serve as a perfect example of how we can come together to help ensure technology improves the lives of every person on the planet. As part of Intel's commitment to responsible AI, together with security and protection of pri and privacy of data, we partnered with Beekeeper AI to create the first secure healthcare collaboration platform. Beekeeper AI enables an AI algorithm to compute metrics against multiple real-world clinical data sets without compromising the privacy of the data or the intellectual property. Intel has a research partnership with the University of Pennsylvania, Perlman School of Medicine's Federated Tumor Segmentation, or FETS initiative, and it's an, an excellent use case. The FETS initiative uses a set of Intel hardware and open source software technologies to improve the training of AI models to locate brain tumors. The result is an AI model that improves efforts to locate tumors by 33%. So we all have concerns regarding deep fakes and its impact on our society and our ability to spread misinformation through manipulated content. While AI is being exploited to create deep fakes, we can also use it as part of the solution to prevent them. Fake Catcher is a deep learning solution to detect deep fakes. In the immediate battle against deep fakes, AI helps us detect fake media as a longer term solution to address the fakes, the origins of media. Intel has joined forces with the Coalition of Content Provenance 
and authenticity, setting new standards and policies to restore trust in our digital content. Intel is proactively working to address risks posed by quantum computers. We have developed internal quantum crypto guidelines for our products, specifying algorithms and parameters required for increasing resistance to quantum attacks. And Intel is able, is actively contributing to the post-quantum crypto, sta crypto standardization efforts. The end of this decade will be here before we know it. We are already making the hardware and software investments today to be ready for that eventuality. As we have all seen, demand for computing continues to grow exponentially. And as we all know, security threats will continue to grow exponentially as well, unabated. And security begins with Intel. We will never stop innovating to keep our customers safe from today's constant and evolving threats.